Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to set a dynamic wallpaper for your iPhone that is running iOS 15 and iOS 14. So this is the sample of what we're going to do. Just watch my home screen now to change dynamically when I run the shortcuts. So this is the shortcut dynamic wallpaper. So I'll manually click it now to change my wallpaper by itself. So there you see, there you go. So this will be using the shortcut feature in iPhone to do this automation that you just set your wallpaper and whenever you prefer the time you choose, whenever that time you reaches, it just runs the shortcut and change your wallpaper. So you have in like you have different wallpapers you are using on your phone. So you don't have to manually update your wallpapers, it just updates by itself. If you are excited, let's get started open your wallpaper and add a new album that will hold all your all your wallpapers the ones you want to use for your your home screen so you don't want to use your recent ones so we call this one wallpaper so add a few pictures so when you have your wallpaper, you have added a few pictures. So the next thing is actually to set the shortcuts. So you can find shortcuts in your iPhone, see my hair, or you can search. Just search for shortcuts. There you go. So as you can see from my shortcuts, I have two already running dynamic home screen and dynamic lock screen so we are going to set a new one from our fresh so you select this the plus icon add action okay. add action so you want to search for find photos yeah so under media find photos So when you find photos you can see this uh, thing find all photos then you want to add go ahead and add a filter so find all photos we are the album now this is where you select your album and the album is recent so that like i said you don't want to set this thing to your recent albums because you imagine you have some private pictures you don't want to set as home screen or lost screen so that's why you create that album and set it different so you select recent and find your wallpaper album. There you go. So after that, you select on sort by. You go to the end, you see random. So you select a limit. You want to limit this into one because if you don't set a limit, whenever the shortcut runs, it will ask you to select a picture. So you just have to reduce it to one for it to run. So after setting this, the next thing you want to do is set the wallpaper so you go to find again and search set wallpaper set wallpaper yeah under scripting set wallpaper so set wallpaper will set raw screen and home screen wallpapers to photos so this one is what will update you, know, you can change this if you are doing for home screen and lock screen which i will just quickly run at the end of this session so you just select on this one and you disable one of these so when you disable one of these only the one you select will run but in this case we are doing for the two so done that's all you need for here so then you can change the color here if you want you know you can change the color to something Purple, yeah. So this will be different. So this is all you need for creating the shortcuts. So shortcuts wallpaper is added. As you can see the color here. This one's where my previous. So this is my. Yeah. So the next thing I want to do is go to automations. So this automation is what will trigger the wallpaper to set the shortcut to run. So I can see my previous ones was set at 6 a.m. daily. 
6 6 p.m. daily. So then I have this down one that just updates my you know my descent that I've disabled. So so what I want to do is click on plus to add new automation, create personal automation. Now you see new automation <coughs> time of the day. You select time of day if you want alarm if you want the wallpaper to run when your alarm is triggered select sleep when you wake up from sleep or i want you to run when you arrive you leave your place before you commute something like that or when you're in car play you can select any of this you know there are a lot of things to select from here but because it's a dynamic wallpaper so you have to select the one that frequently runs so time of the day so if you want to set sunrise you know you select sunrise it will run whenever is sunrise you see or you can do sunset so it will do a sunset then you can repeat it weekly monthly but you know normally you set it to daily or you can have a, a specific time that runs let's say you want it to run every seven o'clock seven o'clock in the morning so seven o'clock in the morning so done now after you have set your time you add here is where you, this is where you add your action so you click add action you click a uh, run shortcuts so you see under scripting under scripting you see this command run shortcuts just select it then the shortcut to run this is where you find your shortcut which are called uh, no, I didn't give it a name, actually just called it set wallpaper. You know, just select it. But if you save your name, so you know, you just have to use a different name. But I'll show you how to update the name real quick. So run set wallpaper. Then you click on this arrow to check any other thing. You don't need any other thing. Next. You know, you disable app before running so that you don't get all those notifications asking you to approve this automation. Then you are done so let me show you how to name your wallpaper real quick just click on this thing name it this thing so, wallpaper dynamic wallpaper. wallpaper you know so you can actually see the, this command here hey siri dynamic copy so you know then there's one thing here under the set lock screen just select this and disable show preview so that you don't have to show any preview when you want so this is all you need to update your dc and your automa automation so let me click it and see so as you can see i have this uh, Iron, Iron, uh, Iron Man wallpaper. So I'll just go to my shortcuts and click this new one. And wait while it runs. So it was successful. So let's go to unscreen. Boom, voila. There you go. So we see the wallpaper did change. Like we did not touch it, it just ran. As you can see, looking at the this thing too so you see the both the lock screen did change so the automation just changes both the home screen and lock screen but if you if you set differently to run differently so i'll do it the second time just my wallpaper now is this astronaut so let me let me run the automation again remember the name is dynamic wallpaper i click on it it's running it's currently running so we'll wait for it to finish okay that's finished so we'll go back home okay i think it's taking time to change no since it's set to random this thing to always select the same picture again but let's see again but hopefully now you understand the flow yeah so this one worked 
you know, since it's a, we set it to random, it will, you know, sometimes it might just stick on the same picture, but it will always let me picture. So you understand the flow. Hopefully, this video gave you the understanding to, you know, to understand how to set up a dynamic wallpaper for your iPhone. Now, to you can actually split your this thing, home screen and lock screen. So if you did, you have two what two album like I have. Let me quickly show you. You know, you have two album like I have home screen and lock screen. So if you have two those album with your favorite pictures, all you have to do is come to your come to here, create a new automation. Just name it lock screen. So the only thing you have to do is just select inside the place where you are setting the particular home screen wallpaper so just come here on that wallpaper and under here you will see the wallpaper for example you see mine is home screen so you select home screen so if you are, if you want to do for lock screen just come select look for your album because this is your other album will appear so our album will appear so look for your lock screen and this automation will work for your lock screen so after that you just come here and change disable one so you want it to run on lock screen only so you disable home screen and that's it but if this one is for home screen then you disable lock screen then for here you select your home screen out sorry your home screen album and that's it then you don't need to touch the automation because it just works so that does it so hopefully you understand this video and it help you to fall in love with your iPhone again and you got to understand you got to understand the uh, your let me say it back but now you got to understand the flow see you guys on the next video comment drop your comments on the situation any issue you encountered let me know like this video subscribe share to your friends let's go so this is the new wallpaper that was set.